Hi there, and welcome to the little apartment on the prairie. I am making some dog treats today, more of the gingerbread man dog treats that, oh, I made a couple weeks ago. I'll put the link down in the description if you didn't see that video. Uh, but I thought while I'm doing that, we'd talk a little bit about the winter solstice. And I'm probably going to film, actually, I'm pretty sure I am going to film at least some stuff from my solstice celebration, but I thought I'd talk a little bit about what I do for the winter solstice and what the solstice is for those of you who don't celebrate it or aren't familiar with pagan or Wiccan holidays. Um, so I thought I'd talk about that while I'm making cookies. So I'm going to try and adjust this camera so that you can see the cookies instead of my face and then we'll talk. So the winter solstice, if you don't know, Isaac, come here and I will give you a treat. Good Lord. Every time, as soon as I start filming, he gets started. Yes, I have treats in my pocket. Yes, I do. Um, the winter solstice is the longest night of the year or the darkest day of the year. It's the, the year when there is the least amount of, the day of the year when there is the least amount of daylight. It is the first day of winter. This year it falls on December 21st. And uh, the summer solstice is the exact opposite. It's the first day of summer and it's the day in which there, it's the longest day. There's the most amount of daylight. And I don't know what day it falls in 2021. It's usually around the 21st of June. Sometimes it's the 22nd. I don't know, maybe depending on if it's a leap year or something. I don't know, I just look it up. Uh, so, a lot of pagans celebrate the first day of fall as kind of like their new year, but that's also like the pagan Thanksgiving, it's a harvest celebration, but I look at the solstice as kind of my new year, and if you look at the seasons, like in the fall, things are dying, leaves are falling off trees, the plants in the garden, like you harvest the rest of the stuff and then the plants all die and everything looks brown and dead and gone and cold and bare. Um, and it's a great time. It's a time for letting go. But a lot of stuff is actually still happening under the surface. And sometimes you have to let go, let go of the old stuff in order to get to the new stuff. Like the plants die, they decompose, they fertilize the earth. It allows new stuff to grow in the spring. And a lot of times things are going on under the surface that you can't even see. Like you might think all the animals are dead, but some are hibernating. And if it comes to certain you know, turtles or frogs or fish or whatever, some of them bury themselves in the muck at the bottom of the lake. And then the top of the lake freezes over with ice, and you would think anything in that lake would be dead, but it's not. It's just, it's dormant, you know, until spring, and then it's alive again. And so you can't always tell, but things are going on beneath the surface. And so it's a good time to rest, kind of like the earth rests. And it's a good time to let go of the things you don't need and let things... You know, some things need to decay, so let those things decay so that it can fertilize the ground so that new things can grow. And so this is something that I do on the solstice. It's not something that everybody does who celebrates the solstice, but something that I've done for many years is I build a fire and I burn things that I want to let go of generally it's symbolic things like some things I have burned before have been a copy of a marriage license and a copy of a divorce decree. I burned a copy of, well actually I think it might have been the original because it was after I no longer lived there anymore, but of a rental agreement from the apartment where I lived in Ohio where I was miserable. I've burned letters and photographs once I burned the originals of a bunch of poetry I'd written about a really difficult time in my life, but I made copies of the poems because I didn't want to burn my, my actual work. But I wanted to let go of, like, the emotion and, like, uh, just let go of, like, what a painful time it was for me. So, things like that. And sometimes, if I haven't really 
known what would be a good thing to symbolize something I wanted to let go of, I have just written a word on a piece of paper and burned that. Um, I burned a map of Ohio a couple years after I moved to Nebraska. And it was actually the map that used to live in my glove box in my car when I was in Ohio. But, you know, it was kind of letting go of the ties that I still had to a place that was not my home anymore and was not going to be my home ever again. So anyway, you know, sometimes it's very emotional. Sometimes it's hard to let go of things, even when we need to let go of them. It's, it's interesting. But that's what I do on the solstice. And sometimes I celebrate it a day early or a day late if I can't celebrate it on the exact day, even though I feel like it's better to do it on the exact day because the energy is just a little bit different than doing it on a different day. But it's kind of like a, you know, a family might celebrate Christmas or Thanksgiving on a different day of the year if they can't all get together on the exact holiday. So there's Whiskers. Hi, Whiskers. Sassy's down to sleep. She's in a drawer in the bathroom. She puts herself in there, closes the drawer, goes to sleep, takes a nap in there, and then she can open the drawer and let herself out. So, this year, the solstice is on Monday, no, yeah, Monday the 21st, and I don't know what I'm going to do because I have a couple of issues. One is that my car... I thought I had a, a tire that was going flat and I thought maybe I had a nail or something in it because it kept losing air, but it turned out the tire is not the problem. The rim is cracked. So I'm waiting for a new wheel and I'm not sure when it's going to get in. So I don't know when the repair place is going to fix it. And I kind of don't want to drive too much on it until it gets fixed, even though they told me I could. And then the day after the solstice, the 22nd, I'm, I have a, a neighbor who is having some minor surgery done that day, and I agreed to take him to the hospital. It's an outpatient procedure. So I have to be here to do that. So I was kind of thinking, like, maybe I'd go camping. And I know I just went camping, and you'd think that would be enough for me. But now that I've recovered from the bad night of sleep, I want to do it again, I guess. But I thought it could be fun because then I could, like, get up, you know, the day after solstice, the 22nd, and, like, celebrate the sun coming back and that kind of stuff. Um, so the solstice itself is the darkest day of the year or the longest night. You know how in winter this, it gets darker out um earlier every day and we all get sick of it getting dark at like 5 p.m. Well, the day after the solstice, December 22nd, it will start staying light just a tiny bit longer and it'll be a tiny bit longer every single day until the summer solstice, which is June, probably the 21st, usually. Give or take a day, I don't know if depending on there's, whether there's leap year or something. I just look it up. But so anyway, you won't really notice a difference on the 22nd or the 23rd or the 24th. It won't look like it's staying light longer yet, but it is. And I love knowing that. So the day after solstice is like the first day that there's more light. And so that's a day to celebrate as well. And so I thought, well, I could camp out solstice night. And do like the one ritual that night on the solstice itself. And then the next morning do something to celebrate there being more light. But I have to be back here to take my neighbor to the hospital for surgery. And I don't know how my car is going to be. So then I thought maybe I'd wait and we'd go camping like for Christmas. Because I don't have anything to do on Christmas. I don't really celebrate Christmas. But it's a day when everybody else does something fun. So it seems like it'd be fun to do something fun too. I don't know that I really want to camp. Maybe I'll go like spend the day at a park somewhere and then we can have a campfire and cook out and then come home and sleep in our nice warm comfy beds as opposed to camping. That could be better. I don't know yet. 
but it's definitely it's and I'm still kind of thinking about what exactly it is that I want to let go of this year I mean I have a list I have a bunch of things but I haven't decided exactly what things or exactly what things I'm going to use to represent the things I want to let go of some of them I have but not all of them so I need to kind of get stuff together um, what I'm going to put in the bonfire and this year I've got some herbs that I want to like throw into the fire that I think will smell good and that also are supposed to help with banishing things so and I might light some candles although it, it's Nebraska so it's windy so it might blow out my candles but it's just it's one of my favorite holidays um it, it's just it's a really it's it like makes letting go of things feel good. It makes it easier to let go of stuff. There have been years that I've, like I mentioned that I, one of the things that I burned one year was a map of Ohio, but it was a couple years after I moved to Nebraska. Because my first, bring it here, Isaac. My first solstice in Nebraska, I was not ready to let go of some things of my past. I just wasn't ready yet. So you have to wait till you're ready. Isaac, bring it. Come here. So you have you have to wait till you're ready. And and I need to bake cookies or something. Like you gotta have good food. Well, where's your Kong? You came, you see Isaac, you came without your Kong. He's like, oh, I did. Bring it here. I made so many of these dog treats. I feel like, yeah. I feel like I've spent hours and hours making dog treats. Yeah, they smell good. Don't eat them when they're not baked. No, here, get your get your Kong. Here's a peanut butter cinnamon bacon treat. And, or maybe it's not peanut butter. Cinnamon. Apple bacon and cinnamon. Yeah, no peanut butter, but still. It's got bacon. Take it. You don't want it? Sassy will take it. Here. Isaac's like, no, I want the, the thing you got with peanut butter. Look, bud. Look. Sassy will take your treat if you don't want it. Your Sassy woke up. You see Sassy? Otherwise known as Miss Rotten. I don't need you up here. You're going to put cat hair in the dog treats. She's like, yeah, so what? So. Anyway, yeah, we might just spend like a day at the park and stay till it gets dark and I can have a fire. And even if I have to pay for a camping site, they're really cheap, but all the, like the state recreational areas, even state parks right now in the off season are really cheap. So if it costs me like $10 to stay at a you know, to have a campsite for a day. If I didn't stay in it overnight, that'd be okay with me. But I can probably go and like use a campsite somewhere without paying for it. And if I don't stay overnight, because a lot of the places there is nobody checking right now because it's winter. But I still feel like if I'm staying overnight, I should pay the fee because it helps support the park. And I use the park and I like the park and you know, I want to help support it, but I could probably go spend a couple hours in a campsite and nobody would know or care. So, I'll, like I said, I'll probably um, include some video of whatever I do for my solstice celebration. Maybe not all of it, but some of it. Y'all let me know what you guys are doing for the holidays. And if you're interested in seeing the solstice celebration, if you're interested in hearing more about my spiritual faith, or if that's not really what you're on this channel for and it bores you, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And everybody have a great day.